stay tuned for air gun detectives. Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. Today we get to take the mystery out of the Glock 17, Generation 3, and its brother, the Glock 19X. Before we get started, do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Um, if you'd like to be notified about our new videos coming out, hit the little bell. And uh, we love your feedback. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Okay, beyond that, so here we got two Glocks, they're both the Generation 3. Um, this is the Glock 17. Let's take a look at this one first, real quick. This is a blowback, and the Generation 3, um, it, uh, it, is a, it is a full blowback, however, compared to the Generation 4, it doesn't go back quite as far. But I kind of like the Generation 3, and the reason is it has a little bit more velocity than the Generation 4. Um, this has the standard uh, Glock markings, if you lose the grip, and a uh, nice little back strap there, and it has the standard uh, use type sights that the uh, Glock comes with. So it's got the white U in the back and then the white dot in the front. It's kind of a double action trigger, but it's actually, the slide actually does lighten up the trigger load on this. Um, has a magazine that holds 18 rounds, and it's a spring-loaded magazine. Pretty cool in that you can pull this down, and then it actually locks over like this. Okay, and then you drop your BBs in through the front here. And this is the type of magazine. This is pretty common. This magazine is used in a lot of different CO2 pistols. But when you actually engage the trigger, it actually forces the BB into the barrel. Forces the BB into the barrel. So, that's the that's your Glock 17. Now, if we look at the 19X. Other than the color and a couple other things, it's basically the same thing. The 19X is basically it's the Glock 17 base, and then you have the shorter Glock 19 slide on it. Um, this one, on the other hand, has three dot sights, as you can see. It has the actual three dot sights. It's got a little bit different texturing on the grip. However, the grips are um, the same size with both of them. Um, same trigger, same magazine. In fact, these magazines are completely interchangeable. They take the exact same magazines. You can see that. Throw this one in here. So it's the same style. Each time you pull the trigger, it forces a BB in. Which brings me to a, a point if you're the type that likes to slowly pull back the trigger and then you let it up, you're actually putting a BB into the barrel. So let's say you did that one, two, three times and you finally engaged, you'd have three or four BBs in the barrel. Also, you can, if you engage this trigger a little bit and lean it forward without doing anything, the BBs do have a tendency could roll out of the front of the barrel. Yes, they could. But this is a pretty standard magazine. This has been used in a lot of these different guns. Okay, so what they're, performance-wise, what they're claiming is the uh, 19X, they're claiming has a higher velocity. Um, they're saying this shoots 377 feet per second, and um, this one shoots the 17, 365. I personally find that hard to believe because yeah, 377, 365. This one actually has a um, four inch barrel, where this one on the other hand has like 3.3 um, inch barrel. So it's a shorter barrel. And with CO2 BB gun smooth barrels, the longer the barrel, obviously there's limits on it, but, the, but for the most part, the longer the barrel, the higher the velocity. So it's kind of strange that they're claiming the 19X gets higher velocity than the uh, uh, 17. But we're going to find out. Both guns weigh exactly 1.6 pounds. Uh, this one is seven and three quarter inches total length. This one's seven and a half. So you're you're basically looking just a little bit difference in size, as you can see here, as far as length goes. But other than that, they're uh, pretty much the same gun. But let's compare them. 
Let's see how they do. Let's run it through our, our usual test and uh, we'll see how well, you know, see, we'll see how well they do. So those are your, your 19X and your, um, and your Glock 17, and your Generation 3. Let's move on to the next segment. Okay, we got our Glock 19, our new 19X, and we have our Glock 17. So we're going to shoot five shots of each over the chronograph just to see what type of comparison we have in feet per second. Let's start with the Glock 17. We'll shoot five shots. Going to be shooting the uh, Daisy Zinc BBs, a 5.1 grain. Let's see what type of velocity we get. Um, today's in the low 80s, so it's actually a pretty nice day. Perfect day for CO2. So let's see what we get here. Okay, shot number one, 425. Shot number two, 415. Shot number three, 409. Shot number four, 405. And shot number five. We got an error on that one. Let's try it again. Okay, 365. All right. Now, let's give the, uh, the Glock 19X a shot and see how it does over the chronograph. Okay. Shot number one. 391. Shot number two. 402. Shot number three. 392. Shot number four. 385, 378, and that's our uh, Glock 19. So you can see the velocity difference. It looks like the uh, 17 had the edge on that. Let's move on to our next segment. Okay, now we're going to test our Glock uh, 17 for some accuracy, and then we'll follow it up with our uh, Glock 19X. Do a little comparison. Yes, I have new glasses, and these are for your benefits. See the view? Much better. So hopefully you guys will get a little bit more feel for shooting the gun. So let's see how our um, Glock 17 does. We'll shoot five or six shots, whatever we feel like, and uh, then we'll shoot the other one and do a little comparison. So I'm just going to be in this little semi-rested position, and let's see how well we can do here. Two, three, as you can see I'm aiming four, five, let's do one more, six. Okay, so let's see how well we do with our uh, 19. Two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, and we're actually 10 meters back, about 30, 32 feet, just like you're supposed to be. So I am dead center at both of those, and you can see the results here. So let's move on to our next segment. Oh, by the way, I was shooting the Daisy 5.1 grain BBs again, just in case we left that out. All right, let's move on. All right, let's do some trigger testing now as far as pull weight goes on our Glock 17 and our Glock 19X and see what the difference is. Okay, let's try, start with the 17. We got our Lyman trigger gauge here. And let's see what type of pull weight we get out of this. Okay, five pounds, 10 ounces. All right, that's what we got out of our 17. Let's see what we get out of our 19. Reset this gauge. Six pounds, 10 ounces. So yeah, it does feel like it's a little bit of a heavier um, trigger pull on this one, but still very manageable. All right, let's move on to our next segment. Let's, uh, let's do a little comparison shooting between our two Glocks. I'll do the top row with the uh, 17, and then we'll do the bottom row with the 19, and let's see how we do. 
just going to do this little semi rested position and uh, let's see how we go here. Wow, I'm shooting a little high there. Let's go to the shotgun shell. Go back and finish this off. I'm getting some flyers here. There we go. And how about the shotgun shell? There we go. All right. Now let's try our 19. Just a nick on that one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yep, can we get those off there? And I'm hitting the shelf right there. That's why it keeps hitting that. There we go. Clear those off. All right. So there's our Glock 19 and our Glock 17. Not bad little plinkers, I do have to say. Let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion here on our Glock uh, 17 and our 19. Um, the only negatives I can come up with, and there really isn't much on these, is the fact that the way the magazine works, how it feeds, you can have the potential to feed more than one BB into the barrel by if you slightly squeeze the trigger, um, it'll feed a BB into the barrel, and if you let up on it, type of thing. But really, that's not much of a negative, because those are pretty standard magazines that are used in a lot of these guns. I'll tell you what my other negative is, this. I don't like the clamshell packaging. Please, put these in a real box, just so we make more of a collector's item out of it. So, you saw both these guns actually perform pretty well, very similar. But as I suspected, the Glock 17 with the little larger barrel, the longer barrel, I should say, the four inch barrel, shot a little bit higher velocity. We got a high on this one of 425 feet per second and we averaged 413 feet per second. Where the little shorter barrel on this one, we actually got a high of 402 feet per second and we averaged 389. But I'll tell you the good thing is, it's way above the manufacturer. Manufacturer claimed it was going to be 365 for this one and uh, 377 for this one, and we actually exceeded uh, both of them. Um, comes down to personal preference, really, on these. Um, the triggers on them, the 17 just happened to be a little bit lighter. Um, and remember what I said before, this has almost, it's, it's almost a double single action. If you don't move the slide back, it's a much harder to trigger. But when you fire it and this slide comes back, it actually puts it into uh, more of a softer mode as far as the trigger pull goes. As far as accuracy goes, pretty much, uh, pretty much a dead heat. Um, 1.8 inches center to center on our 17, and we got um, 1.7 inches on our 19X. So it just really, it really comes down to personal preference. Uh, remember again, you have the difference in the sights. You've got the typical Glock sight on the 17. The 19X has the three dot sights. They're both nice. They're both nice. They both feel really good in the hand. You get the same amount of shots out of them because they take the identical magazines as we discussed. You get about 75 to 80 good shots. And that's what you want from them. So overall, I think uh, both these guns are pretty much even so it just comes down to personal preference if you want one with a little shorter slide or you like the traditional 17 or even better yet get them both but uh, I'm gonna rate both of these exactly the same and because of how realistic they are how detailed they are um, they perform actually pretty well for a co2 pistol I'm gonna give them both four stars they're gonna get four stars so again Thank you for tuning in to an episode of Airgun Detectives. This is where we take the mystery out of the airgun. And until next time.